do you? Yeah, nice change for the meta. And we we so the opening bands we see are a Slowbro and Inteleon, uh, definitely two solid Pokemon. I can almost guarantee they're going to get a nerf in the next Balan pack. But uh, yeah, we'll have to see. Squishy Squad going to be opening up with the first pick as they are home tonight. It looks like they're going to be going locking in the Zacian. Very nice pick. Yes, Zacian, very strong. Probably one of the wins of the meta, like the strongest meta pick going on at this moment in time. And to counter that, it seems like they're going to go for a Mew that is probably the dub of the of the patch. I yeah. would say in my eyes. Yeah, and Mew, Mew's come, Mew has come out so strong from this patch. Like, I don't think Mew ever really fell off massively. And I suppose it's the same for Zacian. I did put a lot of uh, nerfs on Zacian, but he's always just been as strong as he always has been, in my opinion. But Umbreon on a fantastic pick as well. Be interesting to see what Squishy Squad do turn around with a Hooper. Very nice pick. Hooper is a very tough Pokemon to deal yeah. with. Yes, Hooper is one of those that I thought would be banned in the first round just because of how important the portals are. Yeah, I mean, I, I can't stand playing against Hoopo. It's just so awkward. You, it, it it really puts your team's mobility on point and, and your rotations and stuff to keep up with the, you know, being teleported up to the bottom lane, to the top lane, whatever. So, yeah, solid pick. But in response, we have a double all-rounder pick. So we have the Buzzwell and Blaziken. Blaziken, I hope we're going to be seeing a bit more of uh, a new Pokemon, fairly, fairly, uh, how do you say, a lot of chilled release like not really overwhelming but a very yeah. small buff coming out for him so probably a lot more viable now yeah i would say you've got overshadowed by the mewtwo when we were in that <laughs> meta but a nice pick there to counteract with the pikachu and the guard of war that we saw causing trouble last week that burton did excellent on yeah pikachu always good guard of war a good pokemon once you uh once you get him to his power spike once you fully evolve um but the last pick has gone in, and it's a Clefable. Um, okay, cool. So what, what do you think of these teams? Who who you... Who? Uh, I I would probably go for Squishy Squad, just because they got the CC of the Gardevoir, they got the Zacian, they got the Hooper, they got the Mage Pika, and the Trevenant, which is a very underrated defender. So I think I'm going to go for Illusion. I do like their picks. They've got a very bulky front line. Nice back line coming from the Mew and a, a solid Clefable. Uh, just quick look in the chat. Zacian did not get a change this patch. I didn't, uh, when I was talking about Zacian's nerfs and whatever, I didn't mean necessarily this patch. I just mean since it's been released. Uh, Mew mm -hmm. certainly did get a buff and <laughs> everyone is yeah. aware of it because uh, he's being picked so much now. And he's a, now a jungler. <laughs> And we do have a follow. Thank you to Hams MK. Thank you so much for following us at the beginning of this stream. Okay, and just to go over who we have, we have for Squishy Squad, we have Lugi on Pikachu, Senpai, Senpai on Trev, Geo on Hooper, Nuke on Zacian, and Burton on Gardevoir. And then for Illusion Sports, we have System on Buzzwell, Strauss on Clefable, Bakura on Bladesikin, VRS on Umbreon, and the other Bakura on, uh, on Mew. Yeah. So, two backers there. That's interesting. I've never, yeah. no, I've never noticed that before. Yeah. <laughs> so without any further ado, just waiting to load up and let's get this show on the road. Kin, kind moi, kind moi. Are you an angel? <laughs> I, I don't know. But welcome to the welcome to the stream. First time chat. Love to see it. It's going to be very interesting. I feel I feel like if uh, Legion Sports can get a good dive here, they could potentially just rip through mm, yeah. uh, Squishy Squad, right? Yeah, I agree with you with the Hooper... Oh, no, sorry, the yeah, Buzzwell and the Chicken Nugget. Going to do damage. Yep, and for the first time for Squishy Squad, in the jungle we have Gardevoir. In the top lane we've got to be having Hooper and Zacian. And in the bottom lane will be Trevenant and Pikachu. At top, we got Buzzy, Buzzy, Buzzwell, and the Clefable. In the jungle, the mighty jungle, we got the KFC, Torchic, and down bot, we got Mew and Umbreon. Yeah, so this is going to be very interesting because Buzzwell, I imagine, is got. I didn't actually get to see the items, but I imagine Buzzwell's going to potentially want to stack here. Uh, Hugh, we've got, already got a first engage here going on to the support for uh, for Illusion, but Buzzwell comes in and helps out, does a bit of damage to Zacian. Oh, but Zacian's going in deep yeah. and heavy. Oh, can he get the kill? Yeah. My God, that was so close. Nah. 
yeah, it was a lovely Hooper still getting the illusions berry and making sure that Zacian can carry on that push. Yeah, Zacian very lucky not to go down there himself, but yeah. a really good engage. Um, until he gets his portals, it's always going to be quite difficult for him to stay alive. But it looks like we do really have Blaziken waiting in the top lane. Gardevoir is also up there taking the top push, which is definitely uh, probably the smartest thing to do going into a, a melee jungle on the enemy team. And here we go. He's going straight onto Gardevoir. Buzzroll jumping in Zacian. Gardevoir I'm able to get out. Buzzroll in a lot of trouble, though. It looks like Clefable. Wait, what the hell's Clefable? Yeah. Oh, Clefable died. <laughs> yeah, Clefable died. He got absolutely oh. wiped out by the Zacian. You. Just being an absolute new can taking everyone out. Yeah, very nicely done and scoring a very tidy level in the top before Clefable comes back. I mean, if they wanted to, they probably could dive that Clefable. But let's just go check out the bottom lane. Senpai, Senpai's still looking to get his evolution to Trevenant. I'm sure he'll get it off this. Uh... Oh, there you go. Clefable does go down. Sorry. Um... Oh, and the buzz roll. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah got... they. Go on, dude. I was going to say, they're just running in, just feeding the Zashian. It might be best to just. Maybe go down bot or just try and sneak a bit of farm away from. Oh, is Umbreon going to go down? Yes. Yeah. Semper takes out the Umbreon. They could get a big dive here on the Mew. Mew able to eject out and... Oh, deny the berry. And we've got to get a big fat stack here from uh, Gold from the Pikachu. I think Semper's going to try and get his 25 in. Yeah, Mew's just going to have to let him. He's more interested in getting that farm. I think that was stolen there from the Pikachu. Looks like the engagement coming in on, on Trevenant. He's been mean loot, so he's on his own. Huge damage comes from Solar Beam. Boosted attack from Mew. Brings him down nicely. Lucky, though, doing his best to keep away. Oh, sorry for a bit of lag there, guys. Uh, picking up a berry, and he's going to probably want to try and... Nice stun, but he has been mean looting. Yeah. That will be him going down. Blaze can also taken out. Didn't even notice that. Yeah, now it's a lovely solar beam there by the Mew there, nearly taking out the Gardevoir. Yeah, Squishy Squad, uh, brilliant rotation down here with the uh, Hooper. Now chasing away Umbreon, caught out by Pikachu's stun, uh, and looks like Clefable's also been caught out. We've got six seconds to the bottom objective. I would imagine this is going to be theirs. So quickly go check out the top lane. Though Zacian is going in really deep for this Buzzwell. Should be able to kill him on the goal because he's literally that strong. Three level advantage and yeah, down he goes. Yeah, Nuke doing a good Ooh. job making sure that the Buzzwell doesn't get any stacks in and it could be an absolute menace. Yeah, and we've got... Oh, catching out the uh, the Blaziken. Taking big damage there. Umbreon in trouble as well. Take, being taken out from the Pichu. These, this Pichu has been landing all his abilities on point. Looks like Gardevoir is going to quickly just go back to base and uh, reset. Pichu going in really heavy there for an ult. Is he going to be able to get a kill out of it? No. no unfortunately not, but really good job. At, um... Oh, Clefable! What is still? Clefable, the what there. Are you, you naughty thing, you. Oh, and I'm almost killing the Trevenant there. Squishy Squad are probably absolutely kicking themselves over that. It looks like yeah. the uh, Pikachu has gone down as well. What a shame. But uh, yeah, no, Squishy Squad, that's going to really hurt, but... Don't worry too much, because it does look like Zacian is going to be taking the top objective. Massive ult here from uh, Squishy Squad's Gardevoir. Unfortunately, not able to capitalise on it. Trevenant no. is uh, doing a really good job, actually, pushing him around. Pick up lots of kills here. Yeah. Gardevoir does go down, though. Yeah, and there's a lovely combination with the Gardevoir and Trevenant, making sure that they don't go and dunk anything into their goal. Let's have a quick look back in the top lane. Looks like Zacian is going to just coolly walk this in. Buzzwell is going to try it and... Well, stop him, but I mean, we've got a, a Zacian with a free level advantage here. Probably could kill both these mons if he really wanted to. Let's see what he does. Oh, and in he goes. Ah, oh, no, unfortunately not. Nah. Uh, good try, though. Go back to the bottom lane. It looks like the team is going to the middle. Uh, squishy squad that is the middle bees that uh, eat them up. In the bottom lane, Umbreon's still down here with the Mew. Just uh, probably waiting for farm to come Killing. up. Yeah, Blaziken in the jungle as well, picking up his blue buff after it looks like he's got the red buff as well. Yeah. Yeah. Just a five minutes gone. It's a good solid 100 lead points to Squishy Squad. Just keeping it cool, calm and collective, not panicking over anything. Yeah. And so... it looks... Oh, another beam Buzzwell. coming out. Oh, Buzzwell. Buzzwell almost take... Yeah, Buzzwell almost taken out by the Zashian, but oh, he's he now doing? taking up the table. Still level eight, by the way. That's uh, that goes to show how annoying it must be to play against a Zacian with a, a current with a free level advantage. Uh, Squishy Squad, maybe. Yeah, no. Here we go. Here comes the the rotations of the bot lane. But it does look like there is some action going on down here. The Trevenant has been taken out. Umbreon really deep positioning, which is going to really help the Mew. Blaziken taking out the Pichu as well. Very nicely done. And that leaves the Gardevoir defenseless. Yeah, and that 
Oh, now nice. they finally break down their bottom goal. Yeah, and that actually brings him, in terms of points, that brings him right back into the game. Uh, Squishy Squad are ahead on levels, though, which is a nice, uh, you know, quite a nice place to be. And yeah. it looks like Zacian has invaded the jungle. Um, bottom objective does go to Illusion Squad, but unfortunately hasn't really done much. Squishy Squad may be calling his team to the top lane. Looks like it. Yeah. Oh, calling yeah, the... they're going to go for a push. Oh, but in the bottom lane, we do have a massive dunk coming in from potentially Pikachu uh, from Mew. But Hooper and Trevenant are going to try and stop yeah. that. But let's go back to the top lane. Oh, what's yeah, going? Just... Yeah, what's going on in the top lane? <laughs> I can't. I can't be in two places. Yeah, the, the on top. The Buzzwell taking out Dazashian right there, and Gardevoir just retreating, knowing that they can't really do anything to fight the Buzz on this pad. Yeah, so it looked like a really good defence from both teams here. I mean, uh, Squishy Squad doing a fantastic job to react to Illusion. But unfortunately, they have just lost their Hooper. So it's just down to this Pikachu and Trevenant now. But it probably should be enough to... Uh... Oh, nice stuff from the Pikachu. But Clefable there. Oh, you've... we have an ult to stay alive. Not That might be a bit late to get that ult back now for the Rayquaza. We'll see. Back in the top lane, though. It looks like Gardevoir is being pressured massively from the Mew and the Buzzwell. Buzzwell doing an eject to get to the Gardevoir. This could be a, this could be a dead Gardevoir. Is he going to get to the port win time? No, he wants to stay and fight. Zacian yeah. going in really deep. Got Taking out the Buzzwell. Beautifully done. Yeah, lovely side shocks there by Burton, making sure that he doesn't go down without a fight. And Zacian might have just pushed a bit too far because oh. he just got mean looked. Yeah, unfortunately, the hoot of the... Hooper Portal wasn't there quick enough to uh, to save him, but I suppose that's what happens when you dive into a full team uh, that aggressively. Yeah. Uh, let's have a quick look at these levels, and we'll just follow the Umbra in the meantime. It looks uh, it looks actually pretty dead even. I'd say there's only, there's only two level difference for Squishy Squad as it stands. Uh, Umbra doing a great job of uh, oh catching out the Pikachu. This could be uh, yeah. really good for the Buzzwell. Yeah, pitch him, picks him up and tries to pull him away. Zacian is back though, and it's got to be deleted. Clefable, that's huge. Yeah. Oh, and here's and the Gardevoir. Oh. Yeah, that's 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 nice. That's what we like to see. And now with the Ray fight, they're going to rip it. There, Squishy they're squad are ripping it. Going straight for it. It's only the Blaziken and the Clefable. If Clefable has fly it. Oh. Yeah, it yeah, that was so quick. Zacian just absolutely destroying that Umbreon. Looks like they're going to try and get away, but I think Zacian's going to, yeah, eat them Yeah, up. Zacian, nuke, just being an absolute nuke and just taking everything. And a nice 20, 29 to a 50 on the tier 2 goal on the bottom, so that secures a lovely overcap. P2 breaking the top. It's really now just uh, down for Squishy Squad to essentially just defend, but it looks like I do want to still put some pressure on the main goal. Zacian still has 50 points and a shield. Yeah, and as we say, it's all about that goal difference now for oh. Illusion to make sure that they don't concede so much goals that could put them from, for example, 4th to 8th at the end of the games. Yeah, I mean, let's have a look. Buzzwell gets taken out. I kind of think this... We've got a minute left. I mean, the only person left, I believe, with a shield is the Hooper. So, oh, Trevenant, sorry, has a... He still has his shield, so we can actually see some more points yeah. going in here. Yeah, and if I was... It's all about defending, as Bazakin's doing. He's just on the pad, making sure that nobody can break. But it's too little, too late with that 100 there. Yeah, it looks like he's just going to kind of try and waste as much time as possible. Pikachu, though. And we have to battle with the supporters up top with the Hooper and the Fable battling it out. Oh, God. Uh, let's see, can Pikachu actually get in there? No, oh, no, he's been me. Look, he'll lose his shield. Yeah. That's a shame. Yeah. That's a shame. But really good job of uh, kind of keeping... <laughs> what is this? Clefable trying uh, that, to take the red. Yeah, Clefable just trying to take the red, but Nuke's like, nope. Oh, oh the big block. He's actually keeping. He's actually still alive after all of this. No, oh, oh, he's an oh. ult. <laughs> he gets ego ulted. Uh, Clefable gets an ego ult. That was great. Uh, Buzzwell looks like he's gonna try and get to that bottom lane, but uh, I don't think he realizes that. Yeah, he would have been yeah. interrupted by Burton. Guys, that is our first game of the evening, and that is going to be a 1-0 win to Squishy Squad. Yes. Well done. And um, I just want to say, kind moi, or moi, or whatever, whatever that's pronounced, thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate it. Uh, yeah, Top Gun, go through the, let's go through the results. What do you think? Yeah. A very solid game by both teams. It was just the difference of Ray fights. Squishy squad coming in, getting the ray much more quicker than than the team of illusion. They were.
battling out neck and neck, but it just proved that Nuke on the Zashian just being so great and amazing with 129k damage, being an absolute monster there, and a Pikachu of a nice solid 85, and you don't really see it that much, but Hooper getting a good 55k. So who pronunciation? Uh, Black Star, welcome to the stream. Currently, we do have Squishy Squad at home against Illusion. Uh, yeah. And also, thank you very much to Oz TMP for the follow. Really appreciate that, man. Thank you. And with that being said, the first pick for Illusion Sports is maybe maybe a Mew. Oh, to go for an Azu. Yep, the Mew, which was a very solid. That did very solid eighty nine k for their team. Yeah, I mean, Mew, Mew is such a versatile attacker. Uh, you know, secure, CC, tons of damage, helps. It, it, it does everything you want an attacker to do, apart from survive. But even then, he can survive with his ult, right? So, such a fantastic attacker, especially with the buffs. And in response, we do have a Blissey, which I always love to see, followed by a Blastoise, so very nice. Yeah. And to counter that, it looks like maybe... A bean party, maybe. Yeah, Ooh. the Venu, the Venu beans, and maybe the Umbreon mean look is going to be the key to stopping the movement of Squishy Squad. Oh, sorry, just taking a mouthful of my drink there. Um, I think we're going to see the Garchomp, which means we'll probably see a Garchomp and Blissey in the top lane. I know this is what people love to see. Um, mm -hmm. Probably, probably the combo that cemented Squishy Squad in this league. Uh, and another follow thank you so much to Sonic Chaos thank, uh, for following us really appreciate it my dude thank you so much um, but I think we're going to have a, an Aegis Lash that was very interesting yeah especially the Metal Claw is very good and the swords with it dashing around could stop the movement as well of the Garchomp as a counter attack but they go with the Trustical Fable as well yeah, that did vital healing. Yeah, Clefable was huge. Even kind of taking the role as like an off tank and end up out tanking an Umbreon in terms of stats. So really, uh, really interesting. Um, yeah, and we have a Trevenant pick. Trevenant and Blastoise can be very, yeah, uh, very much a bully front lane. It'd be interesting to see what this Blastoise goes. Uh, will it be Hydro Pump and Surf, or are we going to see a Spin Uh I would say I was watching the guys play on the Friday and the Saturday in the tournaments that they were playing and they went for more of a hydro pump surf build on that Sanji did but Luigi might go for a spin water sprout maybe yeah I mean I do I I think if they went for the hydro pump and surf coupled with the wood hammer um, on the Trevenant they will have full control of the enemy team you know it's kind of It'll be interesting, uh, you know, you'll have uh, Garchomp just like mixed in there, pushing them around and killing them, Leafeon getting to that back line and the constant healing and ults from Blissey, a really good combo. I think my, I think for my predictions for this game, I, I'm going to go with Squishy Squad. Yeah, I would say that they might just have, the, as you can see, the badges of their favourite mods, they might have this in the bag for the second game, but Illusion might be make a big upset. How often do you see a Garchomp with a gold badge? Uh, System on Age Slash, Baccarat on Venusaur, VRS on Umbreon, Strauss on Clefable, Baccarat, uh, the other Baccarat on Mew, Lugie on Blastoise, Senpar on Trevenant, Geoglitch on Blissey, Nuke on Garchomp, and Burton on the Leafeon. That was very quick, sorry about that. Yeah. Hey, quick and precise. Yeah, as long as it was precise and I wasn't stumbling on my words. Uh, and then what I could do. Hopefully there's not any issue here with the Umbreon. Yep, okay, Umbreon looks like they've, uh, they've loaded in. Okay, and for the second game... We've not had a disconnection, have we? No, it was like this yesterday. I'm, oh, okay. I've, got the, I've got the chats up just in case. Great. Okay, so for game two, and we're starting off with Illusion. On the bottom lane, we're going to be having the Mew and the... Whatever it's called. Umbreon, my mind went blank there, sorry. Yeah. In the jungle, we are going to be having Venusaur. And in the top lane, it will be Clefable and Age Slash. And for Squishy Squad, we've got the Blissey and the Gibble up top. In the jungle, we've got the Leafeon. Sharing it with the Blastoise and the Trevenant. Oh, that's different. They split, they split the jungle because 
with Leafy on it only needs at level four. So yeah. split, yeah, and it's, it's quite smart to split it with the uh, what's it called with the Blastoise and Slows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to help the Blastoise wait, to cool down. Wait, what's Leafy? What's Venusaur doing? He got, he got Leafy on. Yeah, he's. I was trying to think why, why is he fighting. The, Leafon's gone in there. Looks like he's trying to steal uh, the red off of this Venusaur. Yeah, and the sword's just left it. Oh, because the Umbreon's coming up. Burton's in a bit of trouble here. Okay, I don't want oh, can to... You, can you get away? Burton gets away just about. A yeah. uh, nice rotation from the Umbreon. Oh, oh he, but he's he, still hungry. He still wants it. He still wants it. Oh, he could go down here if he's not careful. Yeah, uh, I mean, yeah. He took it, but then instantly gave it to the uh, Venusaur, and he does get his evolution. Nuke is... Pushing really hard. Uh, looks like he wanted to try and pull away the Clefable, which he did, and it, it does result in a knockout. Ooh, but Blissey, you're in very low health here. Be careful. All it takes is one sword combo. Yeah, nice yeah. X speed. Lovely job there. And it looks like... Look at this. The War Turtle is now the jungler. Smart okay. move by Squishy Squad. Oh, and it's going to be a spin story. Clefable taking out the Blissey in the top lane. So it looks like Nuke is on his own, but he's going to go in really heavy on this uh, Aegis Slash, who looks like very low health. Oh, able to get the score. It's going to buy him a little bit of time. The evolution helping him a lot as well. But Nuke does have his full attacks, and he does take out the Clefable. Uh, is the sword going to get away? Yeah. No, probably not. Nah. Venusaur rotate, getting the first rotation, but Burton's here as well. He's going to take him away. He takes everything away from the beam. Yeah. Oh, Mew taking a lot of damage there. Gotta be careful. Mean looked by the Umbreon to help his Mew get away. But Senpa is going in deep. Water all got... spinning. But oh. yeah, four down pot now for Squishy Squad. Yeah, leaving the uh, the Garchomp in the top lane. To be fair, as we all know, uh, this Garchomp can do just fine solo. Oh, nice engage there from Burton taking out the Mew on goal. And it looks like they're gonna get some scores in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's four of them staying down here as well. Uh, oh, yeah. careful Trevenant maybe a little bit too deep yeah I think Sam G might go down here oh, oh no, the... is that a clutch yeah. egg no there's the uh, no. there's the beam absolutely the deleting beams, him the, when you see the beams coming it's it's over yeah, so you just look... know that you can't escape with that much damage that it does quick looking Nuke looks like he's going to be uh, potentially breaking this this, bo uh, this top lane very very yeah. early Oh, came down just in time for a huge ult from Blastoise and Leafeon, completely removing Mew from the fight. Venusaur is still safe, though, and able to chuck down his beams. Uh, but it looks like the Fable might get... Yeah. Yeah, and uh, Fable gets a big old bonk by the Trevenant. Now here comes the Sword. Yeah, Sword is here. He's going to try and get some damage on this Blastoise. Blastoise is now caught out. Let's see where Venusaur is. I can expect to see a really big beam yeah. coming out in a second. Along... Oh, there's one beam from oh, you. There's, there's... Double oh, beams double beams taking out the Blissey and the Leafy, and that's a huge loss for uh, for Squishy Squad. But yeah. it's not over yet. Nice uh, spin to win coming out from the Blastoise, but unfortunately it won't be enough to take anyone out. And it looks like the Red Ice will yeah. be going to Illusion. Meanwhile, up top, uh, Nuke managed to break oh. the goal, first tier goal, quickly enough for it's going to the second tier. And he's just helping himself to the farm. Uh, I think Mew did actually. Nope. He got it all. Mew, you're in trouble. Don't... Yeah, Mew goes down. And this looks like it'll be a nice dunk here from the guy. Oh, Garchomp, that's his name. Yeah. Uh, but in the bottom lane, there seems to be a bit of a fight going on. The tier one goal of Squishy Squad. What's going on here? Oh, a cheeky fire going in from Clefable, but might result in a. Someone's yeah. going to die here, right? Yeah, Sword's going to go down here to the Blastoise. And the beams are just going to be there to protect him with a massive, big, mean look by the Umbreon. This double beam is brutal, but a lovely, uh, lovely ult from the Blastoise. Blissey going down to the ult of the Umbreon as well, and Leafeon taking out the Venu. It's just one after another taking each other out. Oh, Chomp's here. Huge engaged right on top of the Mew, uh, taking out. Yeah, taking out. Aegis Slash has got to do his best to try and defend this, but I think a level 12 mm -hmm. guard Trump dropping his ult as well. Yeah, That's... on a level 9s and a level 10, it, it's going to be a hard job for illusion to keep it balanced but a big bomber there by Davinu trying to take out Garchomp but he's not going down no he might be able to get away but all it takes is one good beam and yeah brings him yeah. down low enough for the Umbreon to finish him off uh, the Squishy Squad have put a lot of effort into this tier 1 goal in the bottom it must be uh, really important to their game plan uh, poor Blissey <laughs> has got a lot yeah. cut out for him 
Yeah, I feel like there's going to be a lot of high damage taking numbers in this round Oof. here, Robo. Yeah, definitely. Um, but it looks like it's now going in Illusion's favour. They are pushing the tier one goal. Clefay will score in all these little fives. Might not seem a lot at, uh, at once, but, you know, it all adds up. Oh, God, this is hard to keep up with. Here comes Elysium, yeah. big engagement. Uh, managing... Yeah, it's yeah. going to be a 5v4, it seems, with Nuke doing his own thing again and going for the Reggie Lecky. Yep, he's fine. He's working that top lane. He's already managed to bring the tier two down to about half of its health, so not a problem there. Looks like Squish Squid in a good position to surround the Reggie still, but in, in comes Illusion, uh, Illusion Sports or Squad, whatever their name is. I've... Yeah, Illusion <laughs> Sports. And a big Divinu gets it with a nice oh, solo Oh, God, there's there. so much to keep track of here. Why can't I just get... fight one at a time? Be gentlemen. Nah. It's just chaotic. It's just a chaotic game, and Yuke is just helping himself to their farm. Just trying to break the goal. He's left it on a nice one. Yes. Oh, nicely done. I'll oh, tell you gonna, what. He's going to break it. Break it with two. So what that's done there is that it's going to leave Illusion Sport to have to go up top to contest for the next Reggie. Yeah. Otherwise, it's going to go into their goal. That's probably what their game plan was all along, Squishy Squad. Yeah, and the Garchomp's seem pretty on a level 14, so he's... Uh, he's pretty much uh, the level he'd want to be going into the next fight. Got to be careful here, though. Could be caught out. But no, he's turned the tide. He's no. grabbed hold of Clefable, brought it to his team. Uh, Clefable goes down. Careful, though, Burn. You could be next. Oh, yeah, is he going to survive? Oh, he yeah, does. He... Oh, no. The Umbreon couldn't get to him in time with his ult. He really wants that kill, but I don't know if he's going to be able to get away. Uh, yeah. Oh, um, yeah. yeah. Leafion gets his own back. But that's an Umbreon ult gone at 250. They might regret that right there. Yeah, we have Lugie in the bottom lane. He's still trying to perhaps break that bottom goal. Uh, but unfortunately, the Clefable and the Mew does stop that. He's spinning, though. Is yeah, he's spinning. A... Oh! Oh, nice. lovely support there to the Leafy on there. And this is going to be a, a 4v1 on the Venusaur. Venusaur able to get away. And we've got another big score from Burton. No. No. Just, just, uh, just cancel the last second here. Oh, that's a bad loss. You don't want to lose. Go. Yeah, with uh, five seconds now left to the ray, that means that the Umbreon is going to be a bit late. Uh, mm -hmm. I think Illusion will be really... They'll really notice that for the opening fight. Yeah. I have to see what happens now. Yeah, it's going to be all up to... You could be impatient. Yeah, it's going to be up to Illusion just to keep their heads cool and wait for that Umbreon to come back so it can take the damage for them. And we've got seen Oh, coming... Oh, big damage on Nuke, though. That is, uh, that is a... Oh, my God, okay. I'm just going to be quiet and let people watch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, big solar beam by the Venu with a big bliss assist onto the Triven and but oh, Nuke. Be... Just oh. being a Nuke. Yeah, illusion losing three people. Garchomp is down, but I do believe that there's probably enough damage coming from the Leafy on the Blastoise and the Trevenant to probably finish off this Age Slash. Saying that, though, a beautiful ult does take out the Blissey. Mew scoring a tidy 100 in the bottom goal does make the uh, does make it a bit more of a closer game, but as it stands, Illusion Sports are still in it to win it. Yeah, uh, it, it was Sports, sorry, yeah. Oh, there goes Age Slash. smart there by the Swordy... The sword's job there was just to hold it off so his team can come back in. And now, oh, the Illusion Sports are going to rip it. They yep. know that they have to rip it. Here comes Leafion, and the Garchomp is not too far behind. Ah, oh, Clefable going down. Probably not sure what he was doing over there on his own when, the rest, when his team is trying to regroup and rip. But it looks like they're going in really deep onto yeah. the Mew and the Umbreon. That is... Wait, Umbreon's still alive? Oh, my God. Yeah, everyone's gone. It's gone. It's just the Venu and the, and the sword. And now Squishy Squad are going to rip it themselves, so that way there's no steal. Yeah, nicely done. I mean, it's a well, shame Illusion could have probably... I don't know. Well, maybe they have just a little bit more patient and take the fight. I feel like the Clefable was caught out in a bad position there, which is a big shame. Um, I think he was trying to hit that Aegis Lash. Oh, he's spinning, though. Spinning, spinning, spinning. But if we go back and look at the main goal, yeah. uh, everyone's going to start yeah, dunking their points and get as many points in it as possible. Uh, and that's going to be the end of our second game. And this goes yeah. to Squishy Squad. Well done. We'll just have a look at them scores and see how uh, how different it was. Yeah. And just to, uh, just having a quick look at the chat. A two-ton Squishy Squad with the goats come. I could not agree more. We love to see the yeah. Garchomp. Right. Uh, there, talk about the stats then, Top Gun. 
What have we got? Yep. So, Illusion there, trying their absolute darn best there. The big plays that they tried to do. So, yeah. oh, Trevenant, oh. yeah, fair enough. Yeah, yeah, no more fun for Sanji on the Trevenant. Yeah, but this does leave the Zacian open. Uh, we've got a first pick for a Mew. I wonder if Illusion Unfor was... Unfortunately, Zacian cannot be picked because it was banned on game two. Was it banned? Oh, there we go. Yeah. There's one glaze here because I don't remember things too well. Yeah. Um, oh, double tank, Snorlax. Yeah, that's actually quite a smart pick, what they've done there. They've taken away the two tanks away because we've got Slowbro banned and now we've got Umbreon Trevenant banned that now leaves the Blastoise Snorlax and Crustle oh and Greedon and Lapras and Greedon I wonder if we see Greedon that could be quite fun yeah uh, but no you're right it definitely does take away a lot of the uh, the best options as far as defenders are concerned um, Squish Squad probably weren't expecting that but we do have a Crustle and an Elder Glock with the Rapid Fire yeah. Scarf. We always like to see that. And in return, we are seeing a Blissey, which is going to probably really hurt the Garchomp, actually, which it looks like Squish Squad are going to take, but we've always seen the Garchomp with a Blissey. So it'll be interesting to see how well they do without the Blissey Pocket Heals. Yeah, with that as well, they're going to take the beat. They're going for their own Bean Comp. Yeah. With the Venu and a, oh, a Sizzle Cypher. Don't really see that often. That's interesting because a sizzle with a pocket heal from Blissey, in theory, could probably get through a guard jump. It literally depends yeah. on how much they can knock each other around, I suppose, with CC. Um, I don't know how to call this one. Yeah, it's a very. Both teams with new. Like a very new, unique picks, really, if I can speak. Uh, it's one of those that you don't really see these comps that often. You normally see with the Mew, the Beams, or the V new. Nuke on the chomp, but it's going to be interesting to see how Sanji does with the crustal geo glitch with the elder god, and it's going to be good to see what Sizzle or Cipher, whichever one they pick, go for. Let's be honest, it's going to be Sizzle. How often do you see sizes these days? It's just such a such a shame. I I prefer yeah. Cipher, but Sizzle is just a better Pokemon, right? Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Okay, and for the last time for this first game, we're going to have Lugi on Mew. Sempa on Crustle, Geo Glitch on Eldegoss, Nuke on Garchomp, and Burton on the Venusaur. And for Illusion Sports, we have System on Blastoise, VRS on Snorlax, Baccarat on Sizor, Strauss on Blissey, and Illusion Baccarat on Pikachu. Yeah. And for the third final game, can Illusion get that crucial point? Uh, well, they have to really. If they if they want to if they want to stand a chance in keeping up with Giga Chad, this is. This is such an important game for them. Um, this could... Uh, I mean, it, it, this, this even if they lose this, it doesn't put them below Squishy Squad, but yeah. it, it does really threaten their position from Squishy Squad, if you know what I mean. And it's going to really yeah. hurt teams like uh, Type Wooper. I think this actually might put them above Type Wooper, who, we were, who was second last mm -hmm. week, who are now potentially going to drop down to fourth. Oof. Yeah. Okay, right. Let's, uh, let's see where everyone is going. So, for Squishy Squad... It looks like in the bottom lane, we're going to have a Mew and Crustle, the Venusaur taking the jungle, and in the top lane, it will be the Eldegoss and Garchomp. Yeah, and up top, we got the Blastoise and the Blissey, and in the jungle, we got the Cypher at the minute, and down bottom, it's the Pikachu and Snorlax. Yeah, I just want to apologise for any lag. Sometimes when these games start, we do experience a little drop of frame rate, but it should be fine now. Uh, yeah. Let's have a... Uh, Garchomp being very aggressive at start. Oh, but he's not got the usual heals he would with the Blissey. So he, he looks like he's backing away a little bit there. Yeah, and it's interesting. Snorlax is not an EXP share. So are we going to see the flail? Possibly. I know before the game you were talking about how much you love playing the, this new flail Snorlax. Yeah, I literally just hit about 134k today with Snorlax with flail. So it'll be interesting to see. Is he going down? Yeah, in the nice, nice kill there from Lugie on Mew. Okay. Let's quickly look in this top lane though. It looks like uh, Baccarat is already up here. So is the Venusaur. They're going to have his first fight over the bees. Oh, Cypher, be careful, dude. Going, 
Oh, yeah. he's, he's we, yeah, we are, yeah, we're seeing Cypher, yeah. Interesting. Because he's he could have evolved right there, but oh, it hasn't worked gone. out for him. Yeah, it hasn't worked out for him in that first little engagement. Yeah. Um, big, uh, big dunks here in the in the top lane for that first engagement. Looks like Crossstorm you also going to pick up some nice scores there. Potentially though, some somebody could go down to. Oh, that's a that is a lot of damage. Two moves all almost taken out this Snorlax. Blimey. Yeah. Uh, another double kill up in the top lane from Nuke. And this is what Nuke likes to do uh, best. He likes to get his early level advantage and really take advantage yeah. of his lane. And as uh, as I say that, it looks like the Elder Goss is going to start rotating to the bot lane. And if there's anything like we always see, he'll probably spend the rest of the game in the bottom lane. But we do yeah. have the middle bees that have just spawned. Yeah. And it's going to be all Nukes. Yeah. Nuke and Burton just help themselves. Big beam coming from the Mew. Uh, of I'm not sure about this. Uh... Oh, that was Ooh. a nice kill. Yeah, nice kill there. Getting that one kill, but big old crust all coming in and taking down the yeah. cipher. But up top, we managed to see that bla the goal was left, not defended, and the Blastoise square, I should say, turned into a war tool, and Blissey did his job getting up to level four. Oh, so level we'll five. Away, no, Guard Trump hunts him down and finishes them off. This bottom lane, no, double beams on the uh, on the yeah. far. Managed to finish that off. Crustle, you need to get out there, dude. Nearly not gonna die. Mew and oh. Venusaur need to be careful because here comes the the jump from the Cipher. Unfortunately, wasn't able to connect and does take a lot of damage. Almost going down. Maybe a well placed beam. Just yeah. short, unfortunately. But we do have a Venusaur already. Very nice evolution when the bottom objective does spawn. Yes, and with that, it's up top as well just then it was blissey is now trying to 1v1 a guard chump which i don't think is going to end up too well yeah that that wasn't the smartest idea let's go check out the bot lane and this is where it should all be going on elder glock yeah. put a lot of pressure on that pikachu and it does go down um so this is going to really be difficult for illusion to do really anything about huge uh oh. boosting attack on that cypher a b new god so many just beams being, yeah just being excellent on the beam and i'd like to point out that snorlax has actually gone heavy slam Interesting. I was kind of hoping to see the flower build. Uh, yeah. Alas, we've got to probably see a 40 and a 30. Yeah, so that's going to be a nice overcap of yeah. 32. Guard Trump's just doing what he done uh, last game. Just putting so much pressure on this top lane, stealing all the farm, which is really going to be damaging for Illusion Sports because they have no way of really farming this top lane. Venus will beam in the jump pad because it obviously offended him in some way. But... Uh... <laughs> he can be a bit of... Well, maybe the cipher might be in there hiding, but nah. I think he was. Oh, nice, uh, nice ult from the Elder Ghost there, denying the cipher any more damage. Uh, they, they are just ripping through them on this yeah, tier two, yeah. buying all the time in the world for Garchomp. Just carry on farming and scoring if he if he wants to. Yeah, yeah, and it's just leaving Garchomp to get up to his level twelve within five minutes. We're not even gone halfway yet, and Garchomp's level five, at level twelve. Well, everyone's and level seven, six, nine. It's an invasion coming in here. I feel like Nuke's gonna be able to get pick up a kill if he wants. Here we go. Yeah, a huge engage. He's out in it. Uh, he's unfortunately missed. But hello, yeah. gets the hello, Norlax. Oh, just manages to eject out of that. Very nicely done. So illusion sports. Let's have a look at their levels. Um, they are well behind. So we're we're seeing yeah. fifty four for Squishy Squad and quick maths, quick maths. I don't know, like literally half, nearly yeah. half that. I don't know. It's, it's yeah. very, it's very one sided this game at the moment. Yeah, it's a squishy squad not being squishy at all, and basically having time of their lives. Their way, yeah, having their time of their lives, having starving them of their fun, just a specialty. I mean, this is it is, it is brutal. You got you got these on point beams from you and Venusaur, uh, Bert, not Bert, a nuke on the Garchomp is just ripping through them for fun. Yeah, uh, and you got this uh, this really reliable defend defender Crustle doing lots of work. Saying that though, we do have a, a Mew and a Venusaur dead, so very well played there from the Cypher. Oh, yeah, very yeah. well played there. Yeah, and a nice double kill there, getting it up to level eleven. Really, the only person now level twelve, the only person on their team really at contesting level was Squishy Squad. Yeah, no, uh, uh, this is. Where's Snorlax? Level seven. You say he wasn't. He didn't bring a uh, XP share, right? He hasn't got one. Yeah. He, 
No, he hasn't got one, which there's only one EXP share on the team of Illusion, which makes me think, oh. did he mean to do it or was it more of a accidental couldn't get it in time? Maybe. I mean, it's but it's definitely hurt his team. I mean, I feel like uh, yeah. once the bottom lane started getting their levels and he was unable to keep up with it, it's just been a bit of a bloodbath, to be honest. We've yeah. seen 294 against a 43 in terms of score. Um yeah, I mean, Blissey, Blissey, bless, bless him, he's just getting random scores in there all the time. So we have a huge fight in here. We could get a nice yeah. triple kill from Nuke. Oh, unfortunately going down, though. Well played by Cypher. Hopefully yeah. this Elder Goss can get away. Looks like he's just going to. Yeah, and with that being said, uh, Squishy Squad take the Reggie Rock roll for themselves. Yeah, okay, so it looks like Illusion Sports have actually started to hit their level 10s and above. But, I mean, is it too little, too late, maybe? They just gotta farm up Robo, get that farm, make sure that they're a contestable level for the Ray fight and maybe get a cheeky steal from them. It's all gonna the come down that bad. It's all gonna come down to a steal. They're gonna have to try and Yeah. I'm not sure how, yeah. maybe Pikachu or I mean, Maybe it's... a Pikachu, a Typhlone, like a Blastoise alt, uh maybe yeah. Cypher rushing in last minute, going gong ho or so... Bliss Assist. Oh, Big engage coming in here. Down goes the Pikachu and the Snorlax. Got to be careful, guys. I mean, there is farm up on the Illusion Sports uh, side, so probably I think the only person to take paying attention to that is the Cypher, who has hit level 13, but it looks like his blue has just been stolen by the Venusaur. He should have no problem killing it. Well, saying that, he just ejected, so did actually yeah. get away quite nicely. Blastoise, though, it looks like he's in quite a bit of trouble as well. Uh, yeah. Not much health left as we come into yeah, the final Yeah, back to a tree, leaving his team at a 4v5 now. Yeah, I mean, oh, double beam, oh. both hitting the Blissey in the face. Uh, has gone in, backlining them. He takes out the Venu. Very nicely done, and oh, he doesn't go. He doesn't get away, unfortunately. No. Blast uh, Snorlax. Snorlax went in trying yeah. to save him, but he couldn't do much there. And now it's up to the Blissey, the Blastoise, and the Pikachu. And now and Squishy Squad don't want to start. They want to zone in on them and see where they're hiding. They find the Pikachu, and now the Blastoise goes in with a nice rapid spin water spout move. Well, there was a lot of damage on uh, on Nuke there, but he does pop his ult, oh. so that does give him the shield that he's need, he does need to stay alive. Uh, Blastoise needs to try and get out. Nice uh, nice support in there from the Blissey. Yeah. Uh, what's Cypher doing? Cypher's here, picked up his red buff. I think he wants to try yeah. and... Well, I don't really know what he wants to try, to be honest. Uh, there's, there's nothing that they can really try at this moment, Robo. Squishy Squad have got the defense down to a T, and there's nothing oh, that they can do. Big damage coming in there. Nice block there from the Snorlax to protect his team, but I think it's going to result in him dying himself. Uh, yeah. yeah. There's but, too little too late now to rip it. They would, they can't do much, Squishy Squad. It's all about the goal difference now. Can they get some few cheeky dunks too? Make sure that their goal difference is intact so they don't drop down even further. Oh, sorry about that. Big ult, though, coming from the Venusaur. Does take out the Snorlax. Uh, oh, dear. Where's Blastoise? He's spinning away for his life, but I don't think he's mm -hmm. going to be able to escape. Oh, no, he does. Nice eject. Does keep him yeah. alive. Uh, and it looks like we do finally see the rip from the double beams. Uh, I don't yeah. know if they're going to be able to score off of it, but, you know, why not take it, eh? Yeah. There's a score. There we yeah. go. Here comes the Hundo Burgers for Squishy Squad. Not being squishy at all. Oh wait, hang on. And oh, they score in the top. They, they score in the main yeah. goal. Fair play. Yeah, Garchomp managed to get it in before I think Venu. Okay, well, well done, guys. Uh, thank you so much for playing. That was a three 0 win to Squishy Squad. So a huge well done to them. Uh, unlucky, f uh, unlucky illusion. Don't worry though. You are still, I believe, still going to stay second in the league off that result. Um, but let's have a quick look at these numbers. Take it away, yeah. Top Gun. Yeah. Big numbers there by the new Lugie with a nice 101k damage there.